What is up FIFA commenters? Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for deciding to watch another video on the channel. Let's start this episode. If you're in on this corner, as you know how it goes, drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, you let me know in the comment section below if you're enjoying your FIFA experience at the moment. Boys, the eSports has gone ahead and released a Chris Willock. Let's start with our Did You Know segment. Did you know that Chris Willock has been absent from the pitch for about four games now? And the reason for that is because of a hamstring injury. The coach, Mick Beal, Queens Park Rangers coach, has said, and I quote, we're missing one of the best players of the league. But, but, but he is set to return in the upcoming games. The media has said that Rangers have struggled badly without Willock, but have won three out of the four games he has missed, bringing them actually at the top of the uh, EFL championship table at the moment. If you all remember last year, we did get ourselves a team of the season, Chris Willock, and I'll show you really quickly. I did complete a bit of a review on him and he was a sensational card. And this year, he was a team of the season, but this year we get ourselves another one. Now, he's played for Arsenal. He graduated actually the Youth Academy of Arsenal. Uh, and then really quickly, he moved to Benfica. Benfica, the, the B team, where he only did about three seasons, 63, uh, 64 appearances, 14 goals before moving to West Bromwich Albion. He was on loan from Benfica, then moved on loan again to Huddersfield Town, where he did 14 appearances only, and since has been playing for the Queen Rangers, the Queen Park Rangers, and of course playing sensational, like the coach has said, one of the best players of the league. Looking at the card we have in front of us, sensational card, right? 5 foot 10, medium, medium, right footed, 4 star skill, 5 star weak foot. Before I even mention that, I will let you know that he's available for 86 days. I don't know why ESports is doing that, but they're doing that. Looking at his alternative position, he can play as a striker, he can play as a cam, and boys, that is absolutely fantastic. Moving on to the attribute details, 81 acceleration, 81 sprint speed. That is pretty incredible. Honestly, listen, the reason why I say that is because he has incredible distribution for the other attributes. And for him to have that 81, 81, that means that you can really maximize the pace. You can focus on that pace, focus on that shooting, because look at the shooting on this card. 89, into, uh, 89 attack positioning, 86 finishing, 86 shot power. This card is cracked. He's not the best penalty takers, but that is A-OK. -okay. The passing on this card, 95 vision combined with 92 uh, short pass and 75 long pass. I, it, it's lovely. It's absolutely lovely. He can also cross, which is why he can play on the wings. 88 crossing, 89 curve, and that is sensational. Now, moving on very quickly to our favorite website, Enziwerd. That is footbend. You can see really quickly here that he is lean by type, and that has to do with the dribbling. The dribbling on this card is absolutely incredible. Look at that. Look at that. Let's have a quick look. 93 agility, 84 balance, 84 reaction, 86 ball control, 87 dribbling. And he is lean by type. That's crazy. He doesn't get the lengthy. He gets the explosive uh, uh, um, sort of uh, attribute there. But that's A-OK. -okay. If you were looking at the best chem style you could apply on this card, it's very simple. It's a hunter. It's just as simple as that. It's a hunter. Forget about the dribbling. Forget about the pass because those are already excessively cracked. You have to maximize the pace. You have to maximize the shooting. And you can play this guy as a striker. You can play him as a cam. The only thing is the medium medium. So I would suggest more playing him as a cam than a striker. And we do see his brother right there, uh, Willock uh, from Newcastle, who will probably get a card as well. But you, again, you can play him as a striker if you like. You play him as a cam. You can even play him on the as a winger as soon as the game starts. And that will be easy peasy now coming back to your screen here he does get 80 heading accuracy combined with 80 jumping that is a-ok -okay, nothing too crazy 89 stamina 75 strength and technical dribbler as a player trait now to complete this spc it's ridiculous it's so cheap it's so so very cheap it's just an 83 overall team you need one player that's 84 or higher you need one team in the season you need one english player and a 4-2-3-1 this card is so cheap so good so powerful so incredible uh that it's it's a must I, I i don't have to do any real convincing to you guys but it is an absolute must like i'm saying he can play as a cam right there he can play as a striker he can also play at, uh, as a winger because of those incredible uh stats uh, the crossing and the curve boys this was your fifa commenter letting you know really quickly my thoughts on this card a sensational card a mad card if you enjoyed this episode drop a like subscribe and i'll catch you very soon for another review on the channel peace out